Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Nuzlocke Pokemon Emerald, a legitimate copy of Pokemon Emerald 2, which is important to me because it's expensive as hell. Not that I paid for it. Uh, shout out to Lunatic Chef and his family again, uh, an extremely generous viewer on my Twitch channel. Thank you so much for sending me Pokemon Emerald. Uh, welcome back. All right, so it's going to be a little tough remembering things in between recording sessions. So, Route 104, we got a Puchaina. Petalburg Woods, we got a Wurmple. And now we are entering Rustboro City. So, I'm keeping a notepad over here to my left. Rustboro City. So that we can tell which Pokemon we got where. Let's get into the Nuz, into the Nuz. Rustboro City, the city probing the integration of nature and science. If a Pokemon gains experience in battles, it can sometimes change the way it looks. A Pokemon changes shape? If one did that, I would be shocked! What a casual. You don't know Pokemon Evolve? <laughs> okay, typically I like doing the... Man, it's been a long time since I played Emerald. Or never since I played Emerald. It's been a long time since I played uh, Sapphire and Ruby. That wasn't Oras and what do they call it? Omega Ruby and Sapphire. Yeah, Oras. Devon Corporation's workers live in this building. Yeah. So yeah, typically when I enter a new city, I like doing the gym first. But this being a Nuzlocke, that might be a mistake. We might want to wait on that. Hello. My daddy's working at the corporation. My daddy made this, but I can't use it, so you can have it. Obtain the Premier Ball. See, this is why we want to probably do everything else first, so that if we get, like, for instance, a Quick Claw, which I don't remember where everything is, we can equip it. Uh, thank you, I appreciate it. When I grow up, I'm going to work for Devin, too. Way right back in the old days, Devin was just a teeny tiny company. ba da ba ba da ba da ba da ba Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 is this the guy we saved from the force? I don't actually remember. I guess we're about to find out. Devin's president likes to collect rare stones. Ah, oh, interesting. I think the president's son also collects rare stones. Ah, oh, interesting. Why can't I use my running shoes indoor? Come on, let me run indoor. I want to run indoors. I want to run indoors. Yes, I'd like to run indoors. Okay, uh, so yeah, typically these days I explore buildings from like... My system is basically to go down here and then go to the right and go up a little bit and go to the left and go up a little bit, etc. if that makes sense. To explore new towns and make sure we get every single thing. For my own Pokemon, I give them perfectly suited nicknames. It's my expression of uh, originality. Yes, that's it. But giving the name Pikachu to a Pikachu, you moron. I suppose it's good to use a name that easy to understand, but... Pekachu. Pekka. They named it Pekachu. Okay, yeah, that's not very creative. I, I'll be real. Wow, you have a Pokemon with you, too. When I get bigger, I'm going to go to places with Pokemon, too. I'm sure you will. Said to the uh, Pokemart, My Pokemon evolved. It has a lot of HP now. I should buy Super Podions for it instead of Ordinary Podions. I'm getting an escape rope just in case I get lost in a cave. I just need to use it to get back to the entrance. I'm buying some paralyzed heels and antidotes. Just in case I run into Shroomish in Petalburg Woods. Hello. Uh, we have 4,172 Poke Dollars. How many Poke Balls do we have? In our bag, we have four. Definitely going to need more of these. Uh, let's buy six plus five is 11 for a total of 15. And we get a premier ball as well. For every uh, ten, is, yeah, for every ten Poke balls you buy, you get a premier ball and great balls and ultra balls. Podions, super podions, antidotes, paralyzed heals, escape ropes, repels are good. Do we want repels? Uh, antidotes we have five, paralyzed heals we have two. Let's buy three of these. I like having five each of the status heals. Escape ropes will probably find, but let's buy one just in case. And then we'll spend the rest on repels, I think. Uh, never mind. We can only have two repels. That's not really worth it. Ba -da 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 -da. Hello. 
The old sailor, Mr. Briney, lives in a cottage by the sea. He goes for walks in the tunnel every so often. Good to know. So then I go up a little bit, and then I start going to the right. Cutter's house. It's been two months I played this game. I don't remember every little thing. That determined expression, that liberal way you move, and your well-trained Pokemon. You're obviously a skilled trainer. No, wait, don't say a word. I can tell just by looking at you. I'm sure that you can put this hidden machine to good use. No need to be modest or shy. Go on, take it. Obtain the HM01. That hidden machine, or HM for short, is cut. An HM move is one that can be used by Pokemon outside of battle. Any Pokemon that's learned cut can chop down thin trees if the trainer has earned the stone badge. And unlike a TM, an HM can be used more than once. When they were expanding the city of Rustboro, my dad helped out. He made his Pokemon use cut to clear the land of trees. Never a big fan of cut. Cut has been a mainstay since Generation 1, although taken away in Generation, what, 4? Not taken away, I mean, you can obviously still use it, but yeah, it's just a cut. You just cut. That's all it does. Uh, but you can use it out in the world. I wish they still did that, to be honest. That was, like, such a indicator of Generation, like, 1s through 3. Again, I think. I don't remember when they started taking, like, HMs away or made them not really... Like, it's weird. Some people will say, like, oh, the game mechanic's dumb to have to force the player to learn a move to do a thing or whatever. But, like, it's like, I don't know. That was there since Gen 1. I enjoyed it. Just me? I don't know. Also, I want to say a big thank you to my patrons on Patreon. Big thank you to my Twitch subscribers on Twitch. Thank you for supporting me and what I do. If you would like to be one, links are in the description below. I'd appreciate it. Just like people, there are male and female Pokemon, but no one seems to have any idea how they're different. Uh, oh, this is not the generation where they introduce changes based on the gender of the Pokemon. The man next door gave me an HM. I used it to teach my Pokemon how to cut down skinny trees. My Pokemon has a naive nature and my friends has a jolly nature. It's fascinating how Pokemon have personalities. But I'm surprised nobody's commented on my uh, natures yet. You would think you'd have Poke experts in the comment section saying if that was a good or bad nature. Pokemon Trader School. If I go to this school, I'll be able to catch a rare Pokemon easily? Uh, probably not. Did you know this? You can have a two-on-two -two battle even if you're not with another trainer. If you catch the eyes of two trainers when you have two or more Pokemon, they'll both challenge you. Don't you think it'd be cool if you could beat two trainers by yourself? Uh, I've done that. Literally, I've done that. Pokemon Trainer School will teach you anything about Pokemon. All right, let's go learn. Hello, didn't we meet before? I think back in Pendleburg City. Let me introduce myself. My name's Scott. I've been traveling everywhere in search of outstanding trainers. More specifically, I'm looking for Pokemon battle experts. So what brings you to the school? You're a trainer, too. First thing you should do is have a Pokemon learn the move Cut. If I remember correctly, some of this town has Cut. Uh, but we're not going to learn... Eh, I guess we can. I mean... That's... Eh, well, HMs can be used multiple times, right? There's different changes between different versions of the game, between different, you know, Pokemon generations. So we do need to learn Cut in order to progress, and we literally don't have a Pokemon that can learn Cut. Awesome. You can see the not able here for each of our pokes. Well, that's going to suck. Um, that might change, though. Did we talk to you? Pokemon get old items, but they don't know what to do with man-made items like potions and antidotes. Hey, Pokemon holding a berry will heal itself. There are many kinds of items that Pokemon can hold. Boy, it sure is hard taking notes down. It's a student's notebook. Pokemon are to be caught using Pokeballs. Up to six Pokemon can accompany the trainer. Trainers, someone who catches Pokemon, raises them, and battles with them. The trainer's mission is to defeat the strong trainers who await challengers in Pokemon gyms. Okay, I'm trying to talk to you. What the heck are you doing? Students who don't study get a little taste of my quick claw. Whether or not you are a good student will be evident from the way you use this item. Obtain the quick claw. Yeah, see, this is what I was hoping for. I also put away the quick claw in the item's pocket. A Pokemon holding the quick claw will occasionally speed up and get to move before it's opponent. There are many other items that are meant to be held by Pokemon. Just those alone will give you many topics to study. All right, so we're not going to do any, like, yeah, uh, the game is hard enough to nuzlocke without worrying about item restrictions. At least for me, because I'm new to nuzlocking. So we will give the Quick Claw to Finn, uh, which will allow him to outspeed enemies sometimes if they're going to outspeed us. The Blackboard lists status changes that may affect Pokemon in battle. Which topic do you want to read? Poison. If a Pokemon is poisoned, it will steadily lose HP. The effects of poison remain after a battle. Poison Pokemon's HP will drop while it's traveling. Heal poisoning using an antidote. 
Burn. A burn reduces attack power, and it steadily reduces the victim's HP. A burn lingers after battle. Cure a burn using a burn heal. Paralyzation. If a Pokemon becomes Pokemon becomes paralyzed, its speed drops. It may also not be able to move while it's in battle. Paralysis remains after battle. Cure it using a paralyzed heal. Yeah, I forgot par paralysis uh, decreases speed. If a Pokemon is frozen, it becomes completely helpless. It will remain frozen after battle, thawed out using the Ice Heal. Sleep. If a Pokemon falls asleep, it will be unable to attack. A Pokemon may wake up on its own, but if a battle ends while it's sleeping, it will stay asleep. Wake it up using an Awakening. And that is that. Hello there. I'm trading Pokemon with my friend right now. I always wanted a Cena, and I'm finally getting one. Uh, this chair looks different. Can we actually sit here? That would be weird. You know how some Pokemon moves can confuse a Pokemon? A confused Pokemon will sometimes attack itself without meaning to. But once it leaves battle, it will return to normal. Uh, I'm going to cough, so excuse me here. <coughs> ba -ba -da -ba. I challenge the gym leader, but it's not going to be easy winning with my fire-type Pokemon. Fire-type Pokemon don't match up well against rock-type Pokemon, but guess what does? That's right. Oh, who might you be? Your new face around these parts. Have you just transferred into the Pokemon Trainer School? Uh, no. I don't think there's a school system that I actually belong to, which is kind of weird. Every Pokemon has a special ability that it can use. Pokemon are such strange creatures. Ba 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 da ba ba da ba ba da ba ba ba. What the heck's happening here? Oh, it's so hard every day. What's hard? You need to ask. It's trying to figure out what to make for meals every day. It really isn't easy coming up with meals every day. Oh, hello. Welcome to the Pepper household. I have a question for you. Have you ever babysat? See, I'm a new father, so raising a child is all new to me, and I have a problem. My daughter, Walda, doesn't laugh enough. I think she'd laugh at me if I told her something funny. Do you have a funny word or phrase you can tell me? Oh, that's wonderful. So let's hear it. Your suggestion. Tell him the words. How about the classic, man? Let's go with the classic. What do you think about this? <laughs> What do you think about that? I see. Well, let's give it a try, shall we? Fart. Fart. Mm, she's not smiling at all. Maybe Wanda's one serious child. I've been saying fart. Do you know I have a better word or phrase? It might work. Oh, that's wonderful. Let me hear it. You're I have no idea if there's actually a thing that we can do here. How about... How about... How about... L-U-L. -L? Some Twitch speak. Lol. Ah, she, well, let's give it a try, shall we? Lol, lol. She's not smiling at all. Okay, I don't remember what the mechanic is for this. It's a Pokemon plush doll. 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 If I was the developer, I would, yeah, make one of those real. Okay, yeah, I don't remember. I should be writing this stuff down, like, Walda, so we can come back and try to figure that out. I don't know. Hello. A Pokemon you get in a trade from someone grows fast, but if you don't have certain gym badges, it may not obey you. Yeah, trades are weird. I, I don't know if those are, like, legit strategies for... Um... I don't know if those are legit strategies for, like, Nuzlocke or Speedrun getting traded Pokemon or not. Roxanne, the gym leader, really knows a lot about Pokemon. She's really strong, too. The trainer school is excellent. If you study there, you can even become a gym leader. Yeah, why can't we be... Man, why is there not a Pokemon where we, like, can become a gym leader and actually, like, just refight, you know, challengers? I, I feel like that doesn't exist. I feel like that's such an easy idea. Have you taken the Pokemon gym challenge? When you get that shiny gym badge in hand, I guess trainers begin to realize what's required of them. There's our gym over there, which is new to people that are new to Pokemon. Oh, uh, my Pokemon is cute. Sure, I know that. But if you really want, I'm willing to trade it to you. I'll trade you my C dot for a Ralts if you want. Um, no. Oh, if you don't want to, that's okay. My Pokemon is cute, you know. Yeah, but I found a Ralts, and I'm pretty proud of that. In all sorts of places, there are sorts of Pokemon and people. I find that fascinating, so I go to all sorts of places. Okay. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Rustboro City Pokemon Gym Leader Roxanne, the rock-loving honor student. Devon Corporation, for all your living needs, we make it all. Um, let's go to the end. So these are two big things here. Let's go to the end of Rustboro first. The Devon Corporation, we all go shortly to Devon. That company makes all sorts of convenient products. Time-saving tunnel nearing completion is what it says on the side, but there's also a big X splashed across it in red paint. Doesn't sound good. What's this? Route 116. Route 116 of Rustboro City. Maybe we can catch a good poke that can learn cut here. 
Uh, okay, so what route is this? Route 116? Let me check the routes that I have currently. Route 116. Ba da da ba da da. Ba 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 ba. Ba ba ba. Okay, let's see what we get. Ba! I'm gonna close my eyes. Bear Wilma. That's definitely a Generation 1 Pokemon. Bear Wilma. Is that like a Voltorb? Oh, it's an Ab. Oh. Very interesting. Yeah, I thought it was an Abra, but I was like, is Abra here? Okay, so Abras are going to teleport no matter what, so we're probably not going to be able to catch it. We're going to use a Great Ball here. Um, if we somehow catch this Abra, that's neat, but kind of useless. Let's see. Ba -da -ba. Yeah, now it's going to teleport away. Yeah. Goodbye. All right, so that is our encounter for Route 116. Unfortunately. Um, it's, yeah, I mean, I, I wanted to catch it because it's cool to have an Abra, but at the same time, it's kind of useless because uh, it evolves into Kadabra, and then to evolve it into Abracadabra, one of my favorite Pokemon, uh, you need to trade it. And that's not happening because we can't trade. And I know you can do, like, trade what? Or, well, this is a legitimate copy, like I said. And that's not a joke. I know that may sound like... <laughs> I mean, this is a legitimate copy, so... Uh, it was a legitimate copy, um, so I wouldn't be able to trade anyways unless I could find some way to hook up two things. I don't know. Point is, is we wouldn't be able to fully evolve it anyways, is what I'm trying to say. Route 115, Rust Burrows. Wait, is this Route 115? Exploring a cave isn't like walking on a road. You never know when wild Pokemon will appear. It's full of suspense. Is this a route? I don't know if this is a route or not. We can't surf up here yet, so let's just grab this. Austin found one Super Podion. Friendly reminder that, yes, I know it's Potion. Before I get 14,000 comments saying, oh, it's does this guy not know what a Potion is? Yes, I say Podion because it's just a habit. Okay, um, let's go to the Devon Corporation, then we'll go to the gym. Hello. Hey, those running shoes, they're one of our products. It makes me happy when I see someone using something we made. Hello, and welcome to the Devon Corporation. We're proud producers of items and medicine that enhance your life. Okay. Samples of rocks and metals are displayed in the glass case. There's a panel with some writing on it. Devon Corporation's got its start as a producer of stones from quartz. The company also produced iron from fillings in the sand. From that humble start as a producer of raw materials, Devon developed. Devon is now a manufacturer of a wide range of industrial products. Same thing over here. Prototypes and test products fill the glass display case. There's a panel with a description. In addition to the industrial products, Devon now markets sundries and pharmaceuticals for better lifestyles. Recently, Devon has begun marketing tools for Pokemon trainers, including Pokeballs and PokeNav systems. Here, we might not have to fully explore this place if the Skype blocks us. I'm sorry, only authorized people are allowed to enter here. I'm sure that will be us. But not just yet. Okay. So, we have a choice. We can go directly to the gym, or we can go battle trainers and level up even more. We probably want to level up even more, although with our current poke... Oh, yeah, that is a new route, new route, 115. But we're not going to be able to get any pokes here, so that's fine. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah. Let's, um... Let's go ahead and clear this route as much as we can. Alston found one repel. Now, should I bring out my Ralts twirl? I feel like I should. Ba 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 ba. Hello. My bug Pokemon are tough. Let's battle. Let's go. Bring out your dead. It's a worm. Um, okay. She oh, yeah, we get to. That's actually a good start, too, because we get to see what. Uh, what abilities they have. Twirl, that's an... Oh, but I'm worried about Pursuit. Poison Sting isn't great, as if it poisons us, but we should be fine. Let's use Tackle. Water against Bug is what? Neutral? I don't actually know. Faux Wump will use Poison Sting. Yeah, it's neutral. Uh, I typically have hilariously bad luck with poison attacks, getting poison, like, on the first or second one each time, so it's good to see that. Twirl grew to level 6. Twirler and Confusion. Okay, so it can actually attack now. Bug Catcher Jose is about to use Nincada. Yeah, I want to level up my Twirl. Let's 
going to be a bit of a slow process, but, you know, we got to do what we got to do. Um, wait, what is... Bug is strong against... Bug is strong against Psychic with the idea being that it's, like, things that are fears, like dark, like darkness, um, and uh, bugs. What else? There's, like, one other one that's, like, a Psychic... Super stru- wait, super- oh yeah, why is Nankata going- that's so weird. That's so weird to me. I lost! I thought I had you! Ba -ba 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 -ba. Bug Pokemon evolve quickly so they get strong quickly too. Yeah, okay. Whatever you say. Trainer tips, if you want to stop a Pokemon from evolving, press the B button while it's trying to evolve. The startled Pokemon will stop. This is called an evolution cancel. Ba -ba. Hello! My Pokemon rule, check them out! So yeah, Pursuit is a move that, like, if you switch out a Pokemon, Pursuit goes first, and it will hit your po- So, like, if they do Pursuit, which is a dark move, it'll probably just kill Ralts here, which will be terrible. Uh, we got him a Chop, which is a fighting type of switch over. So this is a little scary, too, switching. But we do have the advantage by quite a bit. We use Water Gun here. Okay, two water guns for the kill. Lear's fine because he's got one Pokemon, so this doesn't matter at all. Unless he unless he had an ability like Sucker Punch, but I don't think that's possible for a Machop to have. I could be wrong. 84 XP, not bad. Ouch, a scrape! I have to put on a bandage. Okay, can we still go? Um, should I be safe and use a Podeon? We have 10 of them. Yeah, let's be safe. If we kill our Mudkip, that's going to be god-awful. Uh, hello. I study at school, and I study on the way home, too. That's fantastic. School Kid Garen would like to battle. School Kid Garen sends out Shroomish. Uh, looks like we'll get a level up here, which is great on um, Twirl. So yeah, this is like the common way to level up Pokemon. Stun Spore is kind of annoying. It's going to paralyze us. So our speed also gets slower. Absorb is also scary because this is a grass type, so Absorb is going to deal somewhat damage. It's not going to heal anything, though. Also, every time we try to attack, we might be paralyzed now. Oh, God, no. That's pretty bad. Um, why would you use Tackle? Are you a fool? You have a strong... Yeah, there you go. Use, use that. It's a lot better. Okay, this is a bit annoying. Because A, we're paralyzed, although the paralyzed is not coming in. It's going to use Absorb again. I'm going to stay positive. It's going to heal from Absorb, which is annoying. Okay, wow, the paralyzed did not come out. Okay, I'll take that. Twirl grows to level 7. Finn grows to close to level 16, which might be worth it. I'm in shock. I lost? You did lose, and I should probably call it safe here. Let's see what else we can get on Route 160. Oh, Wismer. Oh, that would have been a cool Pokemon. Uh, that Man, an Abra does count, right? Man, that really sucks. Yeah, Wismer would have been a really cool Pokemon to get. Um, yeah, I sh well, it wouldn't have really mattered if I had gone for Abra or not, because Abra was our encounter. So I basically had to go for Abra. Even though we already had a Psychic type in, we could never get Abracadabra anyways. Or Alakazam! I called him Abracadabra earlier. Okay, um... Hmm, what should we do? Should we go for the gym? But uh, do, 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 do. We could level up at the gym If there are other trainers Yo, how's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become the champion? I'm a trainer, not me, but I can sure give you winning advice That's settled then, we'll aim for the Pokemon Championship together It's your job as a trainer to collect gym badges, am I right? But gym leaders aren't pushovers, and that's where I come in I'm here to provide expert advice Roxanne, the gym leader, is a user of Rock-type Pokemon. The Rock-type is very durable, but it can't stand Water-type and Grass-type moves. Come see me afterwards if you beat the gym leader. Well, go for it. 
Rustboro City Pokemon Gym. No, we don't get the beaten trainers or whatever. Alright, um, so when I was a kid, don't take us gym trainers lightly. I'll show you why we're better. When I was a kid, I would skip. I would try to skip. The game gives you ways to skip some of these trainers. But that's bad, because then you lose that on experience. Oh, wow, look at that animation. Okay. Rockhead? What the heck ability is Rockhead? So we're gonna switch over. Um, yeah, it's good to level up with a secondary backup poke. Okay, so hopefully we get a enough to level up here, because I think if we get to 16, something cool will happen. Perhaps, anyways. Uh, ooh, we got enough. Okay, let's see if it happens. I don't know if it will or not. You were too good for me. Do we get a message? Oh, what? Finn is evolving. Congratulations, your Finn evolved into Marshdomp. So yeah, if you are new to Pokemon, Finn is trying to learn Mudshot, but Finn can't learn more than four moves. Delete a move to make room for Mudshot. What the heck is Mudshot? Hurls Mud at the foe and reduces speed. 55 power, 95 accuracy versus 20 power, 100 accuracy. Uh, we'll definitely switch Growl for that, yeah. Finn forgot Growl, and Finn learned Mudshot. You haven't seen anything of the rock type's terrifying power. I mean, it's... Is rock ter I guess rock is more offensive than, than ground is, right? If you can't beat me, you won't stand a chance to get rocked yeah. Okay, well, spoiler alert, I'm gonna beat you. Youngster Tommy would like to battle. He sends out a Geodude. You might hear a noise right now. Rock, yeah, what is Rockhead, I wonder? All right, so yeah, if you're new to Pokemon, you probably don't know what evolution, or maybe you do know what evolution is, I don't know. But uh, basically, when Pokemon reach certain restrictions, prerequisites, whatever. Oh no, electricity's power was weak. Whatever will I do? Uh, they will evolve, and it's cool, because they change forms into cooler things, obviously, but it's also uh, good for stats. So yeah, that's pretty good. Geodude, will Austin change Pokemon? Yes, I suppose so. We'll change to Twirl. We need to get Twirl up to the levels that we're fighting here, otherwise Twirl's gonna be lost. I'm gonna have to do some grinding. Twirl, Trace, Foe, Geodude's Rockhead. What is Rockhead? Typically, Rock Pokemon have a ability called Endure? Or no, that's a move. Uh, what is it called? Stable or something? Uh, they're not a Pokemon expert, but basically they can't be one shot. Is a is a ability a lot of rock Pokemon have. Wow, you've got some potential. Maybe that's not even a Gen 3 ability. I don't know. I don't know. There's our gym leader there. We might be in the middle of town, but so what? My rock Pokemon need room to rampage. I think these people are in the wrong genre of Pokemon. They think like rock Pokemon are built to rampage. They're like rocks. They're defensive. Are you dumb? Rockhead. I wonder if we could try Psychic against Rock? Because, okay, so Rocks typically have high defense. But they don't have high special defense, right? And Psychic's definitely got to be special. So how much damage does Confusion do? And do we get the Confuse? Oh, not bad. Now, I think if it's yellow, that means we're guaranteed to two hit. Right? Or is he going to survive with like 1 HP? Because it looks like it's a little above the line. Yeah, okay. Tackle, which deals 6 damage. But we can indeed hold our own and get the full experience, which is not bad. Going to send out another Geodude here. If it's level 8, we should be able to beat it. Obviously, crits are scary for the Nuzlocke. Why does this guy have... Okay, so he used... Def so, me as a kid thinking, Oh no, he used Defense Curl. Oh boy, whatever shall we do? But it does nothing against Special Defense. Oh, and we get the Confuse. Nice. So Confuse obviously 
Yeah, it has a chance to hurt itself in its confusion. And I think the higher the attack stat, I never realized this either, because there's a move called Swagger, for instance. Twirl grew to level nine. Excellent. Oh man, oh man, our challenger's one feisty customer. Man, this is coming along super nicely. Do I risk it for the biscuit? <laughs> I think I risk it for the biscuit. Yeah. Do I risk it for the biscuit? Seven points of HP. No, that's stupid. Why be stupid when we could be smart? So, yeah, what I'm saying is we could have fought the gym leader immediately, but it's better to just go and heal it. You know, you never know. That one little bit of HP might be worth it. I don't remember what this trainer has. She does. She is going to use, obviously, rock Pokemon. And we have a water Pokemon, which is strong against rock. I think the ideology being that it erodes rock, right? So, we should be fine. But you never know, man. Nuzlocks are scary. Why would anybody not pick Mudkip, by the way? Unless you just really wanted... Well, I guess Trico would be good against Rock as well. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can do it. Hello, I'm Roxanne, the Rustboro Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I might apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon? I will. Do, 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 do. Leader Roxanne would like to battle. She sends out Geodude. Go. Fit. All right, level 12 Geodude. We got a level 16 Marsh Stomp, which means our water gun should hurt him. Probably not going to one shot, I would imagine. Never mind. We get a critical hit. I don't know how you crit with, like, shooting, spitting water at things, but hey, I ain't going to complain. Another Geodude. This is what I don't like about the beginning gym leaders. They're always so boring. Oh, wow. Two Geodudes. Wow, that's creative. I feel like I know what the last Pokemon is. Oh, we would have. 100%. We would have, uh... 100 to 0 to him anyways. Finn grew to level 17. Leader Roxanne is about to send out Nose Pass. And we could use this to obviously level up our other Pokemon. But like I said, I'm not going to be... Not going to be cheeky here. So yeah, if we were using the other rule, we would not be able to pass level 15, which would make this, like, super difficult. She uses Harden, which raises the defense, which is dumb, because it's not going to matter against special attacks. So this water gun should deal the same amount. Yep. She's going to use Rock Tomb, which is going to damage and slow me. Speed fell. I think it's guaranteed. Oh, it's also going to eat a berry. Orn Berry restored health. Cheeky cheeky. Roxanne uses a potion as well, bringing it almost back to full health. Uh, which typically means we get to go twice now. That's the trade-off of you. What? Finn can't escape. Okay, I can't escape regardless, you moron. Uh, weird. Another potion, huh? Wait, how did the rock outspeed? Does Nose Pass fast or something? I don't know. Anyways... Uh, we should be able to go again here. Yeah, it's outspeeding me with that one speed drop. Maybe Marshtop is just a slow Pokemon. I don't know. Regardless, down goes Nose Pass. We get 346 experience, which should be a decent chunk. So, I lost. It seems that I still have much more to learn. I understand. The Pokemon League's rules state that trainers are to be given this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League stone badge. Also got 1,500 Poke Dollars for winning. Also received the stone badge from Roxanne right now. The stone badge heightens the attack power of your Pokemon. It also enables them to use the HM move cut outside of battle. Please take this with you too. A Dane, the DM39. Also put away the DM39 away. That technical machine, TM39, contains Rock 2. It not only inflicts damage by dropping rocks, it also lowers speed. If you use a TM, it instantly teaches the move to a Pokemon. Remember, a TM can be used only once, so think before you use it. Since you're so strong, you should challenge other gym leaders. By battling many trainers, you should learn many things. And then before I forget, let's go talk to this one guy too, because he told us to talk to him after we did the gym. Whoa, what a breathtaking victory. My cheering must have worked. Great, check your trainer card. Stone badge you got should be properly recorded on. In other words, you've climbed the first step on the stairs to the championship. That's gotta feel awesome. 
Uh, yeah. I mean, not too bad. Get out! Out of the way! And with that, that'll be where we end for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Big thank you to my patrons on Patreon. Big thank you to my Twitch subscribers on Twitch. If you'd like to be one, link is in the description below. I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>